salt. This is the first snow that we got on the ground that I think might stick. We got about a centimeter here. Got my manager Eric in the 6130. He just hooked up the forks. We just got some more pickets in for this upcoming winter. We ordered um, 3,000 earlier this season and of course we put them all in. So we had to order another thousand to fulfill uh, the amount of pickets needed for our contract goal this winter. We got Andreas over here in the brand new 6110M practicing. It's dragging some snow right now as you can see at the end of this lane right here. Blowing, getting familiar with it, testing it out. It's awesome. Winter's here. Winter's here. It's on its way. That's for sure. Um, come and show you this trench that we just dug over here. Uh, we're installing some more posts uh, to run electrical on them so we could plug in all our machines this winter. Uh, putting them on the block heater is uh, quite necessary uh, as it does get cold up here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. See this beautiful trench here. We got post one, post two, post three, three feet deep, about 150 feet long. And we're gonna be running um, four posts total. There's three here in the trench. There's a fourth one outside of the trench that was put in a few years back. So four posts total, uh, two circuits on each post, running 40 amps a post. And uh, we're gonna be able to plug in all our machines that way comfortably. Now four posts covers about 30 to 35 machines. Depends on what your ratio is from uh, big to small machines. Small machines draw about three and a half amps and large machines draw about five and a half amps. So four posts is more than enough for this year as we do have 19 tractors, currently 16 at the shop and we're waiting for three more to come. So we're more than good for uh, a bit of time. So guys, if you're not prepared and you don't have your block heaters on your tractors ready to go and you don't have outlets to plug them all in, I advise you do so right away as we're stretching it to the last moment here. Um, it's not gonna get cold enough to plug them in for uh, about a month or two anyways, but would have rather been earlier on this project. However, it will be done today, so happy to see that. And uh, yeah, make sure you're plugging those machines in guys, it gets cold. It gets cold. So we got all the electrical hooked up to the panel inside the shop. Trench is all done. Looks great. Got Eric grading everything out with the blower on the 6130. So we're just gonna give it a final rake, clean it up a bit. We have our one original post that was already here when we moved into the building. Um, that of course we're gonna be running some tractors on the block heaters there. And here's our three new electrical posts to plug our block heaters in. And they look absolutely awesome. Very happy with the way they came out. Shout out Guzo Electric, they did a great job. And uh, we're gonna be plugging our tractors in. We're not gonna have a problem starting them this winter. So yeah, did it just in time before the snow came. Very happy with the way it turned out. Just got a little bit of cleaning to do and that's it, we're done. Super excited. Winter's around the corner. Um, well, it's basically here now, but we're looking at about five to 10 centimeters possibly coming this weekend. Uh, it's currently November 16th and um, I'm excited. I'm excited. We're pushing a big goal for this upcoming winter. So please stay tuned and uh, Look forward to making some more content for you guys soon, okay? Thank you.